So I found this fabric at the thrift store. Every time I saw it, it caught my eye. I wasn't sure if I liked it or if I didn't. But finally, the fifth time, I said, it's been here so long, I shall take it home and see if I can't make something fabulous for $3. By the way, if you're wondering what's with all the little paper pieces, I've given my creature several toys, but her favorite thing to play with is paper. And she just tears it to pieces. I don't know why I bother getting her toys. So once again, can something be made of this fabric? Okay, I am having some trouble focusing, which is not uncommon for me. I am an incredibly indecisive person, and right now I'm having trouble starting this project because I cannot decide what to do. I was thinking it would make a really cute dress, but then I started thinking, what if it were a romper? Would that be better? So now I feel very stuck. I can't decide. So what I'm going to do is there's this thing I've heard of that all the kids are doing these days. You can get on the gram, otherwise known as Instagram, and make a poll where people vote and they help you make a decision. Wow. It's genius. I've never done it, so I'm going to try it, and maybe, just maybe, this might be life-changing. Remove some stress from my life and let other people make my decisions for me. It sounds too good to be true, but I'm going to try it, and I will get back to you once the votes are in. So I figured out how to set up the poll, and I included these two pictures as sort of a visual representation of what I was hoping to do. I have unrolled the fabric. I have hit a snag. Not a literal one, a figurative one. Actually, no, I did find a literal snag, but it's really tiny. I don't think um, it'll be a problem. The actual problem is that, um, okay, so you remember this, yes? It says <laughs> two yards, 17 inches by 34. Yes, 34 inches wide, correct. Uh, two yards, 17, it actually measures two yards, nine inches. So I was estimating I would have eight inches more in length. And that is a rather um significant issue in sewing when you plan to make something especially something with long sleeves sleeves take a lot of fabric i also ran into another issue for some reason uh, i picked up this roll of fabric and thought stretchy i was i was sure it was stretchy i don't know why but it is not stretchy and that presents another difficulty because Working with stretchy fabric, it's a little more forgiving with the fit. And so, the Instagram votes did come in, uh, and it was a resounding 50-50. So, it really didn't help me in the decision-making process, but I appreciate everyone who voted very much. It was just kind of fun to interact with people, share with them what I'm doing, and I'm just going to have to make a decision and it's actually not that hard of a decision to make since I only have two yards nine inches by 34 inches wide uh that and that's not that's not very wide usually fabric is about you know 44 inches wide to 60 so 34 is really really not wide so, I am left with the fabric making my decision for me. A romper it is. I cannot do anything on this project until first I do something very important.
I wanted to take a moment to share with you some of the thoughts that I had during this process. I am a recovering perfectionist, and I don't say that as a joke. I used to so much differently. I always aimed for perfection. I often have moments of utter shock that I'm actually sharing the way that I sew now with people on the internet. I'm definitely not okay with things being imperfect, but I am getting better at being okay with it. I finally had a moment of realization, I guess. I told myself, you have to embrace the chaos. Your life is always going to be in chaos. And if you don't do something amidst the chaos, you will never do anything. So this is me, embracing the chaos and sharing imperfect things, which is still incredibly bizarre to me. Okay, so I have reached the point in a project where um, I'm running out of daylight. I've been working on this for far, far too long, and I most likely need to take a break, but I'm getting closer and closer to being finished, and I really, really, really want to finish it. And yes, I just have a cup of coffee. Um, so I should probably be practical, take a break, get some fresh air. So I did end up taking a break, going for a little walk, saying hello to some creatures, and I felt a bit better afterward, which was good because I was about to experience some disappointment. And now, on to... I don't know what happened. When I tried the lining on, I had it all sewn up. I tried it on, it fit perfectly. And then once I sewed this all together, it won't even go on. I may need to give up on this project because, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, never mind all this. We are coloring our hair. And by we, I mean me. Perhaps. Anyway, uh, yes, I am coloring my hair, but. The work continues, and by the work I mean the sewing and mistakes being made, but that's okay. I realized what I did wrong. I made the pattern, tried everything on, it was fitting nicely, and then for some reason I just decided to take up the darts, make them even bigger and longer Oh no! when I sewed everything together. I was like, this, this will pull it in so much nicer. It'll be so much more fitted, way too fitted. As in it didn't fit anymore. I don't know what possessed me to do that because I had already patterned it and I just wanted to make it better, but I wasn't thinking at all about the fit. I think I was just trying to go too fast or something. Anyway, so I realized what I did wrong, I think that's what I did wrong, and um, I was trying to be all neat and tidy, so I actually uh, cut off the darts so it wouldn't be all bulky, so there's nothing there to work with to let them out at all. So, no longer can I make this into a romper. There is a possibility that I could do a short, close-fitting mini skirt version of this, which I don't really love the idea of. I don't like that type of skirt. But I would like to see if I can salvage this. If not, that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna try that. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't enjoy sewing, I do, but I'm really glad I can work on this dress. It's just taking a really, really long time. And this is shedding a ton of like glitter, and now I've just realized um, it's in my hair. I didn't want it to like fall on the floor because my back hurts. I wanted to kind of let it adjust itself, but now I have it in my hair. And I'm gonna have to vacuum that up too. That's not thing I'll have to do. That's the thing about sewing, is it makes a gigantic mess. And you can't, just like, you can't say, 
you've made a meal unless you wash the dishes. You can't say I bake cookies unless you wash all the dishes that you've used. It doesn't count if you don't wash the dishes. Just like that, if you make something, but you don't clean it up, clean up the carnage, you haven't actually made the item. It's cheating. Unless you're part of a team and you each have your own roles, I guess. But then it's a team made thing, not a you made thing. Ugh, I keep telling myself, just a few more steps, just a few more steps. Okay. Yeah. My room is a ginormous mess. It's not just that little section where you saw my headline before. Um, it, um... Horrendous is the word I would use. But I can either clean, clean it to my liking, where it is absolutely perfect, spick and span. Oh, I would really love that. Or I can make things. I usually go with making things. So my space is a perpetual mess, but maybe someday that will change. Anyway, I made some straps out of some satin fabric I also found at a thrift store and was going to use my handy dandy loop turner to pull them through. That happened about 10 times before I finally gave up and went for the safety pin trick. Finished. It's finally finished. I do not know how long I have been working on this project, but I am so glad that it's finished. It is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is finished. I've already snagged a little piece on it. That's fine. It's finished. The zipper needs to be fixed. That's fine. I am going to call it good for now. Oh, except one thing. It's not quite finished. I still have to address this carnage here. But then, it will be finished, and I can show you how it turned out. Side note, the thing I tripped over earlier was this basket, which was inside of another basket, but uh, out of this, spilled this. I have been looking for this for months. I bought it months ago, used it once, loved how it worked, tried to find it because I needed to use it again, and I couldn't find it. I was very vexed. I looked so many places, I looked absolutely everywhere except for in this basket inside of another basket. Now I know where it is. It's all good. I'm going to put it in a safe place where I will promptly forget again where it is. Thank you.